your day 609 Steveston Squadron Cadets, parents, sponsors, and staff. COVID-19 has impacted many aspects of our lives. Reducing our contact with our friends and colleagues has been a challenge for all of us. The staff at 609 Steveston Squadron have put together a message for our cadets and parents. Please take a moment to listen to and enjoy their words of encouragement and support. I am Major Jonathan Glacier, Commanding Officer of 609 Steveston Squadron. But before the rest of my staff introduce themselves, there is one official duty that I would like to perform. I've said this before to the squadron. One of the best parts of being a commanding officer is that from time to time, I'm able to promote those who demonstrate their skill and knowledge and maintain their professionalism while engaging in all areas of the squadron. Today, it is my great pleasure to announce that we have an officer who has met those strict requirements. I would like to officially congratulate 2nd Lieutenant Vincent Wong on his recent promotion. Well done, 2nd Lieutenant Wong. Hello cadets of 609 Steveson Squadron. This is Captain David Elder, your Deputy Commanding Officer. Hi there. This is Lieutenant Vo, Director of Music at 609 Steveson Squadron. Hello 609 cadets. This is 2nd Lieutenant C2 and I hope you've all been safe and well. Hello, I am 2nd Lieutenant Vincent Wong. I am your training officer for this year. I am Civilian Instructor Lee Angus at 609 Stevenson Squadron. I am the Administrative Officer, the Level 5 Officer, and the Basketball Team Officer. Hello 609 Cadets, I am CI Dominic Lee here, and I am the Level 4 Officer and the Flying Officer. Hi everyone, I am Civilian Volunteer Nelson Flores. I am the Effective Speaking Coach and the level two officer in charge for this training year. We're living through extraordinary times right now. Nothing has ever affected the entire world the way this pandemic has, but we will get back to normal. It's gonna take some time, but we will get there. And the cadet program will resume as well. When I joined the air cadet program, it was because I had a love of flying and all I ever wanted to be was a pilot. I've had the opportunity to get my pilot's license through the air cadet program, and now I'm living my dream job flying the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. But cadets taught me so much more than just flying. I learned about leadership, citizenship, how to survive out in the wild, how to do effective speaking, and yes, I even played in the band. One of the most important things about the cadet program was friends. There are friends that I went through the cadet program with that I still stay in contact with today. And that's one of the greatest things about the program. We will eventually get back to normal and the cadet program will resume. It's unfortunate we've missed out on so many opportunities for training this year, and so many of you have missed the chance to go to summer camp. First, I would like to thank all the parents, cadets, and staff for everyone's collective contributions to the squadron this year. Even though we haven't had the ending that we would have liked, uh, I still think that everyone's walking away having learned something this past year, and I want to congratulate everybody for sticking it out, and continuing to believe in the squadron. To all of the Level 1 cadets, congratulations on successfully completing your first year of training in the program. I've been in this program for more than 10 years myself and have seen many intakes of Level 1 cadets over the years. I can safely say that you are among one of the best intakes I've seen so far in terms of dedication, performance, and overall attendance. So keep up the good work, keep working hard, and I foresee many of you becoming successful cadet leaders in the future. Uh, Warrant Officer Tan and I would like to congratulate all the cadets for a somewhat successful training year. Although we had to end the training year a little bit shorter than we wanted to, I hope you had fun with us throughout this year. I want to take this time to thank all the NCOs for being a part of my training team and providing our cadets a safe and fun time with us at 609. I would like to thank the NCOs for their efforts throughout the year as well as their efforts now during these online engagements. I want to also take some time to thank the instructors for following with Warren Officer Tan and my ideas no matter how weird and how different they are from what you expect. And to all the cadets that are leaving for school or to explore other aspects of life, I wish you guys the best of luck in the future and I, will, and I hope you remember your time at 609. My flight shout out, I would like to Give a shout out to the senior NCOs, specifically the level fives first. Uh, hopefully you're all ready to be leaders and lead the squadron next year. 
and also to everyone that's graduating. Uh, first of all, with Lynn Speranza, who's level five graduating, and also all the other senior NCOs, flight sergeants, warrants, who are graduating from high school this year. Congratulations on a huge milestone in your personal career. And for those that are going away for post-secondary, hopefully you still think about us and still remember us and best of luck in the future. And hopefully we'll see you around, whether you come back uh, for winter vacation, for ACR or whatever occasions. I'd like to start off by thanking the Effective Speaking team this year for their amazing work. As many of you already know, it's been my first year coaching the Effective Speaking team at 609. I'm super proud of all of you for the hard work that you put in. It's amazing to see the improvement you all made from our very first practice to our very last practice. And it just puts a smile on my face and it makes me super proud that all of you took the time and dedication to practice not only during our Sunday practices but as well at home. Uh, amazing work with all of you and I'm super proud of all of you as well that competed at the squadron competition and as well at the zone competition. I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys uh, once we resume. I hope you all continue to practice your public speaking. Like I said, you can still practice that while being at home. I'd like to thank the level twos as well this year. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for your hard work and determination and the attitude that you would have towards your training. As it, you already know, you will become the future leaders of 609. So it's very important that the knowledge you gained during this training year, that you continue to use it and don't forget it because you will definitely use it as you advance through the program and continue through the levels. I'd like to thank the level two instructors as well for their amazing work. I'd like to let you know that the work you do as instructors is crucial for the squadron. You have an important role as leaders and I'd like to thank you for performing that task, being instructors and being there for your level. You all did an amazing job this training year, even though it was cut short. It is something that we cannot control and we don't have control over. But I am looking forward to seeing all of you once we are able to resume with our regular tasks and duties. First, I would like to give a big shout out to the Level 4 Cadets. You all have worked very hard to contribute to the squadron this training year. Your effort and dedication have been reflected by the successful training year we've had, and I'm confident that you'll be amazing senior NCOs next year and help lead the squadron. I would like to give a special mention to all the band members of 609 Stevenson Squadron. Um, thank you to your parents for driving you to and from our performances and our rehearsals. And thank you for taking your time to practice at home, come to rehearsals prepared. Um, it's been a joy making music with you. And I really hope to see you all again next year when we come back for 2021. To the 609 range team, Excellent work on the results that you turned in, both during the training year as well as during the competition. I am aware that some of you only picked up a rifle for the first time back in September, and it's really remarkable how quickly you've managed to learn and master your shooting skills. I certainly never mastered it that quickly, so kudos to you. And for those of you who have been regularly participating over the last couple of training years, continue to keep up the hard work and dedication and I look forward to seeing all of you at the range again soon. There are many people that come together to make our squadron a success, especially during unexpected challenges like COVID-19 pandemic. I'd like to mention our parent sponsoring committee executives who put in many hours to coordinate and support our locally funded events and keep our bills paid. Our chairperson, Derek Ma, our vice chairperson, Karen Lau, our treasurer, Amy Lee, our secretary, Odelia Tam, and our screening director, member at large, Yvonne Pang. All these wonderful and dedicated volunteers put in vast amounts of time to support our squadron. Next, the parent volunteers that came together to help our sponsoring committee executives by taking on some of the work. A special thanks to those in the canteen who made sure that snacks and drinks were always available. Next, 
the officers and staff who put in an incredible effort to make our squadron what it is. Totally amazing. To Captain Elder, Lieutenant Vo, 2nd Lieutenant Situ, 2nd Lieutenant Wong, C.I. Angus Lee, C.I. Dominic Lee, C.V. Flores, C.V. Kwan, C.V. Solaria, C.V. Tai, and C.V. Tebow, I appreciate all your hard work and the incredible knowledge and skill that you bring to the squadron. Most important, however, are the cadets. Our senior cadets have done a marvelous job of mentoring, training, and supervising our, our cadets. Our squadron commander, Warrant Officer First Class Jonathan Chu, Deputy Squadron Commander, Warrant Officer Second Class Kevin Tan, <clears throat> our Squadron Warrant Officer Sergeant Haley Akizuki, should all be proud of the effort they put into being leaders and the results that came from their efforts. Our amazing flight commanders have managed to keep the flights engaged and active while also managing to remain supportive, which is no easy challenge. Thank you to our flight commanders for their dedicated efforts. Pegasus Flight, Warrant Officer 2nd Class, Katrina Wong. Phantom Flight, Warrant Officer 2nd Class, Austin Chung. Griffin Flight, Sergeant Shelley Liu. And Recruit Flight, Flight Sergeant Kaylee Choi. Great work, everyone. Cadets, we look forward to seeing you in September and hope that our pandemic will allow us to return to normal training. If, however, that isn't the case, you can rest assured that the staff will support your training in whatever format the Canadian Armed Forces permit. Uh, for my team, I'd like to give a special shout out to the basketball team on the completion of another great season. I know we didn't have the All-Star Night to finish off the season, but once Cadet starts kicking again, we'll wrap up the season the proper way. Uh, also a really awesome showing at the Stevenson Classic this year, not just the basketball team, but everyone that uh, helped volunteer and helped run an awesome tournament. Hopefully we'll keep running the show next year. And also uh, for everyone that is on the basketball team or, or hoping to join the basketball team next year, make sure that you guys work really hard this summer and make sure you're ready and up and running for the next season. As well, I want to give a big shout out to the Grand Sioux Cadets. Whether if you attended to learn more about aviation or here to pursue your dreams of becoming a pilot, uh, you guys all have worked very hard to come this far and your effort has not gone unnoticed. Even with these unprecedented times, remember to never give up on your dreams and I hope to see everyone in the future. Hopefully in September we'll be able to resume training. In the meantime, I hope that you and your family stay safe, have a great summer, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you to all of you for your patience amidst this challenging time. I definitely look forward to seeing all of you again soon. I hope the summer provides you with a safe and enjoyable time with your family and friends. Take this opportunity to discover new things and to enjoy this time off. Stay safe and remember our motto for this training year. Small squadron with a big heart. And to wrap it up, I just want to give a huge congratulations to all the cadets for a hard working training year and hopefully we'll see you next year. And to the squadron, I wish everyone remains safe during the summer. And for the cadets leaving us, I wish you all the best in the future. And for those coming back, I hope to see you in the next training year. I'd like to thank everyone who watched to the very end. The staff and I will miss you and look forward to seeing you again in September. Stay in touch with each other. I wish you a safe, healthy, and rejuvenating summer filled with fun and relaxation. Take care and see you in September.